Hi, I'm Colin G. West. In this bonus episode of Think About This, we're gonna give you five reasons why you should pack a bag, rent a hotel room, and travel someplace where you can see the upcoming total solar eclipse in person. Let's start with the map. Anyone who's inside this band on Monday, August 21st, 2017, will be inside the darkest part of the moon's shadow and able to see the total solar eclipse. If you can do it, you should make the trip because while you can see the partial eclipse from anywhere in North America, the experience of a total solar eclipse is on a whole new level. Here's why. Reason number one, a rare chance to see a shy planet. During a total eclipse, it will be so dark that you'll start to see some stars and planets. One planet in particular is a special treat. Mercury, the smallest and closest planet to the sun, is rarely visible to the naked eye, especially in North America. It's usually so close to the sun that by the time the sun has gone down for the night, Mercury is below the horizon too. So now is your chance to join the small club of people who have seen it with their own two eyes. Reason number two, mood lighting. Even though the sun will be blocked out and the sky will be dark, it won't quite be dark as night. That's because the sun is surrounded by two layers of gas called the corona and the chromosphere. They give off so much less light than the main body of the sun that it's easy to forget they exist because they're too dim to be seen. But during an eclipse, when the rest of the sun is obscured, these become the only sources of light. And instead of ordinary white sunlight, they shine with an eerie rose-colored glow that gives the earth a strange and surreal appearance for a few moments until the sun returns. Reason number three, eclipses are literally pretty cool. When the sun is covered up, you're not only missing out on the sun's light, you're also missing out on the heat that it generates. During a total eclipse, you'll notice the temperature in the air drop by as much as 10 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll notice this less if you're someplace humid because humid air can store heat longer than dry air. But either way, the dramatic change is bound to, well, give you the chills. Reason number four, humans aren't the only ones watching the eclipse. With all the changes in lighting and temperature, Insects, animals, and even plants will also take notice. It's hard to know exactly what might happen, but you can expect to see many creatures looking confused or acting like it's nighttime. Crickets might start chirping, owls might hoot, flying birds might quickly land while they try to figure out what's going on. Certain night-blooming flowers might even begin to open up. It's a reminder of just how much life there is on the planet and how all of us are dependent on the sun for our survival. Reason number five, shadow bands. As the eclipse comes to an end, keep an eye on any plain, flat surfaces around you. You might even want to set out some large sheets of paper in advance for this. Because in the very first moments, as sunlight begins to emerge from behind the moon, only the narrowest crescent of light is shining on the Earth. And if the band of light is narrow enough, then tiny inconsistencies in the atmosphere caused by wind and pockets of heat can disrupt and interfere with the light in random and chaotic ways. It's the same effect that makes the narrow beam of light from distant stars twinkle in the nighttime. Except this time, the twinkling light is so bright that you can actually see it casting twinkling shadows. Be prepared, you can only see this effect for less than a minute after the sun begins to emerge. But it's worth it. So, that's my sales pitch. A partial eclipse is cool, but a total eclipse is its own experience entirely. And there will probably only be three or four total eclipses visible from North America in your lifetime. So if you live anywhere nearby, you should go. And you should tell me about it by tweeting your experiences to at Colin G. West, because I am Colin G. West. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.